Welcome everybody to the debut episode of NXT 2.0. We have a great show for you tonight. In one of our first round matchups, Dexter Loomis takes on Santos Escobar. And also in the main event, Bayley battles Tegan Knox, and the winner will qualify for the Women's Fatal 4-Way. And also tonight in the North American Championship qualifying match, Tyra Breeze takes on Swerve Scott. But right now we're going to kick things off with our first first round matchup of the NXT Championship Tournament that will be crowned at In Your House in just a few weeks. If you take a look right here, you can see the bracket. Chad Gable versus Carmelo Hayes and Santos Escobar versus Dexter Loomis is happening tonight. Next week, Roger Strong versus A-Kid and Austin Theory versus Cameron Grimes. We have a great tournament and I can't wait to see who's going to make it to the finals and battle for the NXT Championship at In Your House. This right here is going to be a great matchup. Well, here we go. The referee rings the bell. We are underway. You can hear the crowd. They are excited for our first matchup of a new era here with NXT 2.0. The debut episode is Chad Gable fights back and now head scissors takedown. The Olympian Chad Gable's in control of Carmelo Hayes as he takes him down again. Things not looking good at the beginning of the matchup for newcomer Carmelo Hayes as Chad Gables got him up and plants him down onto the mat into the cover, the first cover of NXT 2.0. And that right there could be the match, but Hayes able to kick out. That right there was a very good opportunity for Gable to possibly put away Carmelo Hayes, but we are just in the early beginning of this matchup as he takes Hayes down. Now Chad Gable with the right hand right there. Hayes fighting back. Oh, nice kick right there. Drops Chad Gable. And now, oh, springboard leg drop. A beautiful springboard leg drop right there by Hayes. As now he sends Gable into the corner. And oh, my God. Oh, that chop did not sound good to the chest of Gable. And now Hayes in control. He's got Chad Gable neck breaker. And now getting Gable right back up. Super kick right there into the cover. Could that be enough to put him away? No, Gable able to kick out. That was close right there. I thought that could have been it. And now Hayes going back on the attack. Gable fighting back though. Right hand. Chad Gable's got him and throws him. Oh my God, what a throw. So here is a big opportunity. The winner of this will advance to the semifinals in two weeks. Also, don't forget the winner of the semifinals will go on the In Your House to compete for the NXT Championship as Chad Gable targets the leg now of his challenger, possibly looking to set up an ankle lock later in the match. Right now, Gable going right back on the attack of Hayes. Belly to belly throw. He might have Hayes right where he wants him, that belly to belly. And now sent across the ring. Gable ducking down. Oh my god. N another beautiful belly to belly throw right there. And now Chad Gable. What could he be thinking about doing? Looking to put a submission in. Oh my god. The knees right into the back of Hayes. That does not look pretty. That does not look pretty at all. That does not look healthy for Carmelo Hayes. But he's able to get out of it. Turns it into a pin. But no. Not pinning him at all. Carmel Hayes in control of Gable. He's got him. Back drop. And he's not done. Oh, wow. Hayes leg drop right there. What a move by Carmelo Hayes. And now up to the top rope. Could he be looking to end things? Could he be looking to put away Chad Gable? And oh, drop kick missed right there. Gable turns it around. Oh, takes him down. And now Chad Gable in control. Up to the top rope. What could Gable be thinking about doing? Oh, he's looking for a moonsault off the top rope, but Hayes able to get out of the way. Carmelo Hayes able to get out of the way, and now Poison Rana. Poison Rana by Carmelo Hayes. He's got Gable right where he wants him. Head scissors into the arm bar, and he's going to have to make Gable tap out.
You can see the look in Gable's eyes. He might need to tap out. It almost looked like he did there for a second. But he's able to get out of it. The referee didn't ring for the bell. And now Chad Gable, another belly-to-belly -belly throw. And I think right now he might have Hayes right where he wants him on the first matchup of NXT 2.0 of the Universe Mode. And he plants Hayes down. And now Chad Gable looking to go right back on the attack again. He wants to make it to the semifinals. He wants to make it to In Your House to compete for that NXT championship as he plants Hayes into the corner. Now Gable going right back on the attack again of Hayes. I think he's got him, sends him over the top rope, out onto the apron. Oh, Hayes able to fight back right there. And now Carmelo Hayes, springboard curves line, takes down Gable. I think Hayes might have him right where he wants him. I think he's got an opportunity to put away Gable right here, right now. German suplex. German suplex by Hayes, and he's not done. Gable back up. Oh, my God, nasty right hand takes Gable down. And now Hayes targeting the arm again. Possibly looking to set up for that arm bar later again in the matchup. Hayes, after trying to damage the arm of Chad Gable, goes right back on the attack. Stunner right there. Stunner by Hayes. And now up to the top rope. He could be looking to put away Chad Gable. Off of the top rope. No, Gable catches him. Power bomb right there. Hayes right there, normally does not miss a shot, but he missed right there. And now Chad Gable, moonsault off the top rope into the cover. Is that gonna be enough to win in advance in the tournament? No, Carmelo Hayes gets the shorter up. I thought that could have been the match right there, but Hayes somehow able to kick out, but right now he might have to tap out. Chad Gable's got an ankle lock in. Is Carmelo Hayes going to have to tap out? He is so close to the rope, but I don't know if he's going to get there. Chad Gable just twisting back and forth on the ankle. That definitely does not look good. Is he going to tap out? Is he going to tap out? And is Gable going to advance? No. Hayes able to kick him away. Right now, oh, Hayes, Hayes. Oh my God, he's got him, he's got him. After the leg drop right there to the back of the head, he's got the win, no, oh my God. Chad Gable somehow kicks out. What a match we were having to kick off the NXT title tournament and kick off NXT 2.0 as Gable sent out of the ring and now I think Hayes is looking to take him out. Carmelo Hayes, here we go. Over the top rope takes Gable down. Hayes might have Gable right where he wants him. Taking him out of the ring. Jumping over the top rope. And now here we go back into the ring. I think Hayes has him exactly right where he wants him. Carmelo Hayes, here we go. Face first goes Gable. Hayes is rolling right now. Is it enough to advance to the semifinals? No, Gable fighting back. Right hand. And now Gable, another right hand. Carmelo, another right hand. Carmelo Hayes. Oh, kick right there. Single leg drop kick right to the face. Dropped. Chad Gable. And now the springboard stunner. Springboard stunner by Hayes. And that might be the beginning of the end. And now Gable over into the corner. Hayes sets him up on the top rope. This is not going to end well for either one of these men, I don't think. Up on the top rope. Hayes has got him. Oh, my God. Avalanche Falcon Arrow off the top rope. And we could be seconds away from the end. Carmelo Hayes looking for the end. Chad Gable kick right there to the hamstring. And oh, my God. Chad Gable with the rowing knee right there, the rowing kick. And that might just knock out Hayes for good. And now Hayes in the corner. Chad Gable looking for a big move right here. Rolls him up into the German suplex. And that's the match right there. Chad Gable advances to the semifinals of the NXT Championship Tournament. Let's take a look back at the ending moments right here. Ankle lock. Uh, somehow Hayes able to get out of it right here with the kick right here. Similar to the one that Booker T hits. And then right here off the top rope. 
the Avalanche Falcon Arrow by Hayes could have put him away, but he was looking to end things. But somehow Chad Gable able to counter and right here with this rowing kick to the back of the head. And then it set up for the German suplex to put away Carmelo Hayes and Chad Gable advances to the semifinals. He's the first man to advance to the semifinals in our first matchup here on NXT 2.0 and of the NXT Championship Tournament. Let's take a look at the updated bracket. Chad Gable advances and later tonight, Santos Escobar versus Dexter Gumas. Well, it looks like in two weeks here on NXT 2.0, Dragunov is going to have a shot to make it to the NXT North American Championship ladder match. But right now, we're about to find out who the first man entering that ladder match is going to be. Is it going to be Tyro Breeze or is it going to be his opponent here tonight? Great opportunity for Tyro Breeze. Last time we saw him in the universe mode, he competed in the World Championship Number Contenders Tournament back in Monday Night Raw. To do so in an advance to that ladder match, Tyra Breeze has to beat Isaiah Swerve Scott, and that's a tough task. Isaiah Swerve Scott, a former North American Championship, looking to get the title back at In Your House in that five-way ladder match for the title. And it, I guarantee you already that one of these men being in that match is already going to make that match memorable, and I cannot wait for In Your House as Isaiah Swerve Scott got what it takes to make it to In Your House and compete for the North American Championship. About to wait and see, but right now we are about to continue NXT 2.0's debut. What a great matchup we had to kick things off. So here we go. Who's going to NXT In Your House for the North American Championship? Let's find out right now. And right away, Swerve Scott. Head scissors take down the breeze. And showing off the athleticism right there as Tyra Breeze watches on. And now here we go, Tyra Breeze on the attack. Now a kick right there, a slap. And now Tyra Breeze sends Swerve into the corner. Forearm right there, down goes Swerve. And now Breeze looking to go right back on the attack. He's got him. Snap suplex. And now Breeze showing off to the crowd now. Of course, we should have known Tyra Breeze definitely, definitely thinks his face is his best feature. But right now, Swerve able to fight back. Oh, 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 missed with the first kick and connects with the second one. Oh, now targeting that leg. Now targeting the arm right there. He's trying to take the legs out of Breeze and an elbow right to the top of the head. Right now, Swerve is in control of Breeze. Kick right there and now, oh my God. That right there, definitely not gonna feel good on the arm as now he goes on the attack again, kick to the back. And now Swerve again, targeting the arm again. Definitely picking a part of the body and taking advantage. Swerve has got him right where he wants him. I say Swerve Scott, Falcon Arrow. Falcon Arrow connects into the cover. Is that enough to advance to In Your House and the ladder match? It's not gonna be enough as Breeze able to get the shorter up though. The Falcon Arrow was absolutely beautiful. And now Swerve going right back on the attack. Again, this crowd is loving this matchup already. And here we go into the corner goes Breeze. And now down in the corner, Swerve has got him. And now Swerve Scott over the top rope, drop kick. Well, leg drop right there, my bad. A leg drop by Swerve to 
back of the neck of uh, Breeze right there. Now drop kick right there to the back. Swerve's got Breeze right where he wants him. Knee drop right to the top of the head. Right now things not looking good for Breeze. A stomp right there, double stomp. And now looking again for that knee, but Tyra Breeze able to get out of the way. Breeze able to take advantage. Insert Gary, down goes Swerve. And now Tyra Breeze right there, dragon screw. Targeting that leg of Swerve Scott. And going after it again, and he's not done. Oh my, ow, knee right into the side of the leg. Oh, that definitely is not gonna feel good. Now Breeze has got him, spinning neck breaker. Into the cover, is that enough? Is Breeze gonna make it to in your house? No, Swerve kicks out. Later tonight, we still have another first round matchup for the NXT Championship Tournament. And then in the main event, Bayley and Tegan Knox battle it out to make it to In Your House in that fatal four-way elimination for the Women's Championship. But right now, these two are fighting for a spot in the ladder match. Tyra Breeze sends him into the rope, ducking down. Nope, leap flog right there. Drop kick, but Swerve able to dodge it. And now Swerve Scott, here we go, he's got him. DDT spiking him right on the top of his head. And now Swerve taking advantage, sends him into the corner. Elbow right there. And up to the top rope right here. Elbow to the back off of the middle rope. Swerve is rolling right now in this matchup. And now Swerve's got him up. Oh my God, knees to the chest right there and that might be match. Breeze might be out cold after that, but no, he kicks out somehow. That right there definitely gonna not help with lung function right now. I mean, getting hit right in the chest like that. Definitely not gonna feel good and definitely not gonna help Breeze along this matchup. And now Breeze, here we go, into the rope, ducking down as Swerve, and now Swerve, oh my god! Knees into the chest again, or maybe that was close to the face region, I'm not sure. And now Swerve, here we go, face first goes Breeze. Swerve might have just done it, Swerve might have just done it, is he gonna advance to the ladder match at In Your House, is he gonna do it? No, Breeze somehow able to get out. I honestly thought that could have been it right there, but somehow Tyler Breeze stays alive. You know, Tyler Breeze does not get enough credit for how good he is in the ring. Like he is by far one of the best on the NXT roster. And right now, Swerve, another one of the best, and they're going back and forth. Swerve gets taken off the top rope. Now Tyler Breeze, another insert. Gary able to finally take advantage. Swerve sent into the corner and Tyro Breeze setting him up on the top rope. What is he thinking about doing? Up to the top rope now. Hurricane going off of the top rope. And Tyro Breeze has him right where he wants him. He wants him back up on his feet. Swerve back up onto his feet. Breeze super kick right there. That might be the matchup. Is Swerve done for? Is Breeze going to advance to in your house? No, Swerve kicks out. Oh man, what a matchup we were having. We've had two great matches so far, and we still have two other amazing matchups here that night as well. Please send Swerve out to the ring. Oh, out of the ring. <laughs> they were already in the ring, and now Tyra Breeze, here we go. Double axe handle right there, and Swerve bounces off the glass. The plexiglass uh, barricade right there in the NXT 2.0. Arena now sent into that barricade. Uh, Swerve fighting back though, Inseguri on the outside, referee starting his count, he was at two, and now here we go, Breeze sent into the barricade now, referee's at the count of three, placing Breeze up there on the barricade, and a boot right there sends Breeze off. Referee's at the count of four, Swerve, here we go, over the top, rope takes Breeze out. What a freaking match. Swerve taking him out on the outside. 
This is for the spot in a ladder match at In Your House for the North American Championship. Swerve able to take advantage off of the dive to the outside now up to the top rope. He's willing to risk it all. Here we go. Cross body. The breeze connects. Swerve is in control. He's on fire. Is he going to be able to put away Breeze right here tonight? And here we go over the back. Swerve's knee right there. Oh my God. That might have just knocked Breeze out. That might have just knocked him clean out. Now DDT right there. Nasty DDT by Swerve. And now he's got him. Cross face. Cross face is in as Breeze got to tap out. He's got it locked in in the middle of the lane. There's nowhere for Breeze to go. Is Tyro Breeze going to have to tap out? Is Swerve going to make him tap out and advance to In Your House in the ladder match? Oh, Swerve though, not able to make him tap out. Breeze out. And now Tyro Breeze looking for the beauty shot and he missed it and it allows Swerve to take advantage once again and a drop kick right there. That missed opportunity by Breeze might have just cost him the matchup. Now Swerve, here we go. He's got him up. Oh my God, back right into the knee of uh, Swerve right there. And now another drop kick. He's got Breeze right where he wants him. Moonsault right there. Standing Moonsault right there into the cover, but Breeze too close to the ropes and Swerve not able to get the pinfall. It was a rope break. And now Swerve drags him back into the middle of the ring or away from the ropes at least into the pinfall. And a kick out right there, I think maybe the hesitation right there, the rope break might have saved Tyra Breeze in this matchup. Now Swerve up to the top rope. He's got him in his eyes. Sight 450. Breeze gets the knees up. Breeze got the knees up. And now Beauty Shot connects. That's got to be the match. The Beauty Shot connects. Breeze into the cover. Is that the match? He's got him. No, Swerve kicks out. Oh, I honestly thought that was it. I seriously thought that was it for Swerve, but somehow he's able to get that shorter up. And now Breeze, Russian leg sweep. He's got Swerve down up to the top rope now. What could Breeze be thinking about doing late in this matchup? Elbow drop right there, connects into the cover. Looking to get the win now. But no kick out right there. The beauty shot wasn't enough. He thought the elbow drop off the top rope was going to be enough to put away Swerve in advance to In Your House, but it was not enough. And now, oh, Breeze was looking for the unprettier, I believe, and now Swerve, oh, he's looking to put things away. Tyra Breeze not gonna let that happen, though. Able to slip out the back, and now Tyra Breeze, here we go, he's got him. He's turning him, unprettier connects, that's the match. Tyra Breeze is gonna advance to In Your House, that's gotta be the match right there. What a night, oh my God, he kicks out. I don't have a single crew. I don't know how he mustered enough strength to get out of that, but a knee right there takes Breeze down. And now I think Swerve's got him, here we go. Swerve Scott, kick right there to Breeze. I think he does have him right where he wants him, and this could be the end. Swerve, punch right there, turns him around, he's got him up. Swerve Scott, Breeze. Lance him and that's the match right there. What a matchup. And Swerve Scott advances to In Your House and makes it into the ladder match. What a night right here. Look at the ending moments. The elbow drop off the top rope. And Tyra Breeze and Swerve fighting back and forth right here. Swerve had him up looking to hit the end. But no. Looking for the end of the matchup. Somehow Breeze able to sneak out the back. And then somehow connects with the unprettier. But somehow, I don't know how Swerve kicked out of that. And then he was finally able to put Breeze away with this right here. Plants him down. And Swerve Scott gets the first spot in the NXT North American Championship ladder match at In Your House. So you can see right here, we got four spots left to fill in the next coming weeks till In Your House. Congratulations to Isaiah Swerve Scott on a well victory what a night we are having so far in an NXT 2.0 debut
It looks like Bayley is very set on winning that NXT Women's Championship at In Your House. But right now, our second of the first round matchups here tonight. Dexter Loomis is set to take on the leader of Legato Del Fantasma. And here he comes, Santos Escobar, the leader of Legado del Fantasma. Uh, Wild and Mendez will have a shot at going to In Your House for the NXT Tag Team Championships in two weeks time when we have our first of the tag team matches. But right now, we're not worried about that. That's two weeks time. Right now, Santos Escobar looks to basically get past Dexter Loomis and make it to the second round of the, of the semifinals of the NXT Championship Tournament. But to do so, he does have to get through Dexter Loomis. Yeah, here we go. Our third matchup of the night. What a show we have had so far. As the referee rings to Bell Escobar. Knee right there to Loomis. A knee right there. Might have just knocked him out. Santos Escobar looking for the end, but Dexter Loomis not going to let that happen. Crow's line. Dexter Loomis able to fight him off at the beginning of the matchup. Got, he's got the arm now. Got him down on one knee, but Escobar able to get out of it. The right hands to the midsection. And we, oh my God, nasty uppercut right there. And now the body shots right there. Dexter Loomis, uh, he definitely came for a fight tonight as he gets him with the Ruthes Plus. Dexter Loomis bringing a fight we have not seen out of him in quite some time. A nice slap right there again, but Escobar fighting back, right hand to the midsection. And now Escobar, he's got him. Back body suplex. And he's not done. German suplex to Dexter. And now he's got him, switching it into a suplex. What a sequence right there by Escobar. And now just stomping the life out of Dexter. Loomis Escobar has got him. Single leg uh, drop kick right there. Takes him down. Now setting him up on the rope right there. Close line out of the ring. Escobar, what are you thinking about, dude? You better make sure you hit this. Suicide dive right there by Escobar. As you can see, the other members of the Gogato Del Fantasma coming over to check to make sure Loomis wasn't getting back up. But right now, Loomis able to fight back. Nasty body punches right there. And now a spine buster on the outside. Referee's at the count of four, though. He wants them berthed back in the ring, as you can see. Wild coming over here to make sure everything was okay with her Escobar. But right now, I don't think it is. Another right hand right there and another body punch. But Escobar somehow fighting back. Super kick right there. Escobar leg drop right there to Loomis. And now he's not done. Drop kick to the back of Dexter. And now just twisting back on the arm of Loomis. And now right there, the punches to the face again. Wild and Mendoza out there watching. And now on the attack, oh my god, nasty knee right there. Loomis is down. Escobar could be looking to put things away. Spine buster of his own. The spine buster connects by Escobar. Loomis hit one on the outside. This crowd is getting into this matchup. Loomis into the corner goes uh, Loomis and now just thrown by Escobar. Now Escobar going up to the top rope. Loomis is set. Oh my God, drop kick off the top rope. That right there might be the end. He might have just planted the sole of Loomis down, but Loomis able to kick out. 
Great opportunity right there by Escobar. He almost put him away. And an elbow to the back now after washing the face into the bot uh, into the mat right there. I mean, Escobar is in complete control and Loomis not looking good at the moment. Loomis sent into the rope, ducking down. Escobar, Escobar looking to take out the leg. Loomis catches him. Loomis not going to let that happen at all. And oh, he's got him in a sleeper. He's got him in a sleeper. He's got him up in a sleeper. Is he going to faint? Is he going to faint? Will he have to tap out? Is, De is Dexter going to advance to the semifinals? No, Escobar able to get out of it. Not going to let that happen. And now Escobar, here we go. He's got him up. And plants him right there into the cover. Is that enough to advance to the semifinals? No, Loomis able to kick out. I honestly thought that dude buster could have been it, but right now sent into the corner, up to the top rope. Escobar looking for a big move. He's got Loomis right where he wants him. Oh my God, average victory low off of the top rope. Is that gonna be enough to steal the win? Loomis gets the shoulder up somehow. You can hear the uh, show of love from the fans chanting, this is awesome. Escobar, oh my God, kick right there. And now I think he might be looking to put Loomis down for good. He's looking to end things early here in this matchup. But Loomis, a right hand right there to the body. And now, oh my God, he's got the silence in. The silence is in. Is Escobar going to faint? Will he tap out? Is he going to be able to win? Is Loomis going to be able to advance to the semifinals off of this move? He's trying to choke the life out of Escobar, but it's not going to be enough. Escobar somehow fighting out. I don't know how Escobar was doing that, but now out of the wing, not dealing with Loomis. Honestly, it doesn't surprise me. He thinks he's being smart, but he might want to watch out. Loomis to the outside now. And he, oh my God, on the outside, the silence is in. He's not letting Escobar get far away. He's got him. He's going to faint. The referee's at the count of two. He's got it locked in. Is this going to end in a count out? Will this end in a double count out if Loomis holds it in for too long? The referee's at four. But he lets go of it. Lefou's at the count of five. Loomis back into the wing. Escobar might get counted out. Six. We're at the count of six right now. Escobar finally getting back up to his feet. The se uh, seven count. Loomis right on the attack though after he got back in the wing. And plants him down. And now Loomis, here we go. Leg drop. Leg drop by Loomis. What an opportunity this is for him, but Escobar able to fight back. Puts Loomis into the corner. What could he be thinking about doing up to the top rope again? And I don't know what Escobar is looking for, but it definitely is not going to end well. Up on the shoulders. Oh my God, Loomis sent into the top turnbuckle. Oh my God, Dexter Loomis might be out cold. I think Escobar is winning this. Escobar has got him up, plants him down, and I think that's it. I think Escobar is advancing to the semifinals. Lucas can't kick out. Oh, my God, what a matchup. Definitely not the longest one we've had tonight. We still have our huge main event. Let's take a look back at the replays. The silence was in. But somehow Escobar able to get out of it. Went to the outside of the ring, but Loomis not far behind. Went to the outside and put the silence in again. And I thought that would have been a count out, but somehow Escobar back into the ring. And then right here was the end. Right there, body into the top turnbuckle. And he plants him right there. And now we know the first two men that have advanced to the semifinals. Chad Gable and Santos Escobar, both men, as you can see with the up, uh, update of Bracket next week, Roger Strong versus A-Kid, Theory versus Grimes. Congratulations to Santos Escobar. Now let's take a look at what's going down next week, ladies and gentlemen. Another qualifying match for the women's Fatal 4-Way, Cora Jade versus Candice Hugay. And also the next first round matchup, Logic Strong versus A-Kid. Dominic Dijakovic versus Timothy Thatcher in a North American title qualifying match. And then Austin Theory versus Cameron Grimes in the final first round matchup of the NXT Championship Tournament. Well, that's all happening next week, but we still have one great matchup left. A first time ever 
here in the universe. Motiga Knox set to take on Bayley, the former SmackDown Women's Champion. Tegan Knox has not won a championship in WWE, has not won the NXT Women's Championship, and she has a great opportunity to get there by beating a legend of NXT like Bayley here tonight. I mean, what a great opportunity it is for Tegan Knox, but. You know, Tamina's not going to be far behind from Bayley, so we're going to have to wait and see how this goes. Like I said, not far away from Bayley, of course, is her new muscle. Tamina that she's been using ever since Sasha Banks went away to film a show. Sasha Banks is, will be back on SmackDown though. She did not get traded or anything. Right? But Bayley did get traded to NXT. She wanted to be traded to NXT. Sort of like with Roderick Strong who we're going to see next week. But Bayley has vowed to win the NXT Women's Championship. She is tired of being overlooked and screwed on SmackDown for not winning the SmackDown Women's Championship. And the only way to do that is to make it to In Your House and possibly win the NXT Women's Championship. This is going to be a good one. First time ever. Here we go on NXT. First woman into a tie-up right there. Bailey. Takes Tegan into a head, a uh, headlock takeover. Bailey in the advantage right now, but maybe not for the time being. Tegan Knox a strike right there to the back, knocks Bailey down and now a hip attack. Tegan's got the former SmackDown Women's Champion down. Oh, looking for a roundhouse kick right there, but Bailey crossbody. Tegan Knox looked for a roundhouse kick, but Bayley able to counter it. And now Bayley taking the advantage. Neck breaker to Knox. And now Bayley, the right hands to the face, trying to torture Tegan Knox. Leg drop right there. And now Bayley targeting the arm of Knox, stomping on it right there. Oh my God. And now an elbow drop right there. Bailey is in complete control of this matchup right now. Not letting Tegan Knox get any advantage here tonight. Tegan Knox sent it to the rope. Bailey ducking down. And now Bailey Ruthez pressing, just slamming her head into the mat. As Tamino on the outside watches on. Bailey double axe handle takes her down into the cover. Could that be enough to advance to in your house? No, Tegan able to get out. Off to a good start here with this matchup. Every match tonight has been good. Now Bailey's got Tegan in the corner down right there. And now Bailey just stomping away. Bailey stomping away right now. And now in control again. Sends her into the corner. And a knee right there. Knocks down on the mat. And a knee right there. A knee right there into the corner just slams her head first into the mat and now another head slam. Right now Bailey's just torturing Tegan Knox. Tegan Knox out the back right there with that back suplex. Rolls up Bailey. Is she gonna try to steal the win here in our main event? Is she gonna try to advance to end your house? Is it gonna be enough Bailey able to sneak out though? Now Tegan Knox right back on the attack of Bailey. She's got her where she wants her head, but down goes Bailey. And now Tegan Knox the right hands. Now a slap right there, that insult to injury. Tamina trying to get involved right there, but Tegan Knox having none of it, but Bailey still able to take advantage of kick right there to the back. Now the former SmackDown Women's Champion gaining control again, headlock takeover again. And Tamina watching on as she helped distract Tegan Knox and allow Bailey to get an advantage back into this matchup. After what looks like Tegan Knox finally getting the advantage she needed, now Bailey uh, targeting that knee 
uh, with the uh, leg brace right there. Yeah. She keeps targeting that knee. We know Tegan Knox has had knee problems in the past. She's had multiple surgeries, and Bailey knows exactly where to take advantage. Knee breaker right there. Dragon screw. Bailey knows exactly what she's doing. Now she's got her in a hill hook. She's got Tegan in a hill hook. Is Tegan Knox going to have to tap out? Just twisting at the leg, pulling on the leg, torturing Tegan Knox right now. Bailey might have to make her tap out. Bailey might win by submission. Tegan Knox trying to fight it. He's trying to fight it, but I don't know if there's any avail here. Tegan Knox somehow able to get out of the submission, but the damage has got to be done to that knee. As Tegan Knox, her Kogana takes down the former SmackDown Women's Champion. But Bailey right back up to her feet. Tamina getting involved again, distracting her. Every time Tegan Knox has gotten back into this matchup, Tamina has been there and ruined it for her. And now set up in the corner. Tegan Knox able to get out of it though. Tegan Knox, her Kogana. Can Tegan Knox finally get an advantage without Tamina getting involved? Bailey sent into the corner. Tegan Knox elbow right there. Well, uppercut, my bad. Getting too excited that I screwed up my moves right there. And now, code red. Code red by Tegan Knox for the win. Is she going to advance to In Your House and beat Bailey? No. Oh, that was close right there. Bailey somehow able to kick out. Thought Tegan Knox could have stole the win right there. Bailey out onto the apron. Drop kick, missed opportunity by Tegan Knox. And now that occurs uh, cross body right there by Bailey. And now up to the top rope, looking to put Tegan Knox away. Here we go, Senton. Senton by Bailey off of the top rope into the cover. Is this enough to put her away? No, kick out by Tegan. Tegan. Getting a lot of damage in this matchup, but somehow still fighting. Set up on the rope right there. Now Bailey sends her across the ring. And now Bailey. Oh my god, nasty clothesline right there. Just knock her down. And now sent over the top rope goes Tegan Knox. Bailey wants her on the outside. This definitely is not good. This is not where Tegan Knox needs to be her Kalana by Bailey off of the apron. This is not where she needs to be. She does not need to be on the outside with Bailey. This is definitely not good. Bailey sends her back into the ring. Good thing. If they would have stayed on the outside for too long, it would not have favored Tegan Knox. Now another curse line right there. Bailey is in complete control. Tegan barely has had any offense in this matchup whatsoever. Oh, and I don't think that's going to change. Tegan up to the top rope. Bailey, what could you be thinking about doing? Hurricane off the top rope. Now I think Bailey wants to put things away. The fans into this matchup. Drop toe hold. And now targeting that leg again. Oh, come on. Bailey not allowing Tegan Knox to get any advantage, but Tegan Knox able to fight back. Kick right there. Tegan Knox, shining wizard. Shining wizard by Knox. Is that enough to put away Bailey? Is that going to advance her to the your house? That's got to be it. No, Bailey somehow kicks out. Oh my God. Oh my God. That shining wizard almost put away Bailey and now Knox up to the top rope. Tegan Knox elbow drop right there. But not into the cover. She knows that's not going to be enough to put away Bailey. Tegan Knox has some kind of an advantage at the moment. But how long is that going to last exactly? Bailey. Bailey the belly connects. Bailey the belly. Is that going to be enough? Tegan Knox is done. Bailey wins. No, Knox gets the shoulder up. Oh my god, this matchup keeps getting more intense by the minute. What a main event we are having to an amazing NXT 2.0 debut. Tegan sent into the boat. Bailey, oh my god, arm drag right there. Now Bailey's got her, throws her. Tegan Knox might be done for. That might have been a sign of desperation.
Now Bailey's got her in the corner. Oh my God. Splurge suplex into the corner. I think that was just a last stitch effort of Tegan Knox as Bailey might be looking to put her away right here. Tegan Knox though. Elbow right there. Now Tegan Knox has got Bailey up. Church slam. Church slam. Church slam by Tegan Knox. Is she gonna put away the former SmackDown Women's Champion? No! Bailey kicks out. Oh, I thought that could have been it right there. I honestly thought it definitely was over, but Bailey somehow stayed alive. And now Bailey in the corner. Tegan Knox sends her head first into the top turnbuckle. And now Knox has got her. Oh, a forearm right there. Tegan Knox has got Bailey right where she wants her down in the corner. Tegan Knox getting fired up. Oh my God, what a senton. Senton right there into the corner. And Tegan Knox, oh, wait a second. Are you kidding me? Tamina, are you, seriously, Tamina, why do you have to get involved right now? Are you kidding me? What a main event we've been having. And Tamina, of course, gets involved. Drop kick. Tamina sent to the outside. And now Tegan Knox. This is your opportunity. This is your moment. Oh, wait a second. Bailey chops the leg. Are you kidding me? At least it wasn't the bad leg right there. And what the? What the hell? What? Did Bailey just hit her with glass knuckles? What? Bailey just hit Tegan Knox with something. I have no idea what it was, but now Rose Plant right there. Not like this. Are you kidding me? Not like that. What did she hit her with? It had to be glass knuckles. Are you freaking kidding me? Bailey gets the win. Let's take a look at the near the end right here. The choke slam by Tegan Knox. I thought could have put Bailey away. Senton right there. Thought it was the beginning of the end. Tamina gets involved. Tegan able to knock her off the apron. And then Bailey, I don't know what she hit her with, but she hit her with something, and I'm pretty sure it was brass knuckles. Bluff Reed didn't see who's attracted by Tamina. And then the Rose Plant connects and Bailey puts Tegan Knox down, which means Bailey is the first woman in the Fatal 4-Way Elimination. Are you kidding me? That's not how I thought this night was going to end. Bailey using the brass knuckles to steal the win from Tegan Knox.